Hey guys, what is going on? This is Eric, and in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the reconvert page builder. We're gonna go through everything, so you'll know how to set up your thank you page on your own. Uh, and again, if you need any help, the support live chat is always on the right bottom corner of the app. Let's jump into the page builder and I'll show you how to set up everything. Okay, so we are in the reconvert page builder. Let's go through all the elements you need to get familiar with in order to customize your thank you page. Let's start from the very top. You have a mobile view and a desktop view. So you can preview both desktop and mobile views of your thank you page. On the right side of the status, you have a save button that will allow you to save changes on this template. At the bottom corner of the screen, you're going to have a live chat where you can talk to our support agents 24 seven if you need help with anything. Now let's talk about the actual preview. On the right side, you got the order summary with some skeleton data. On a real order, it's going to be replaced with the actual order data. You can also see some tooltips with some helpful information all around the page builder that's going to help you to understand what it's all about. On the left side, you're going to see the header, the order confirmation, the order confirmation message along with the map, and the customer information. Below that, you'll see the continue shopping button. You cannot customize the text or design of this button from reconvert. If you want to do so, you'll have to do it from the theme editor in Shopify in the checkout settings. Same goes with the policies below. Everything here you must customize from Shopify settings and not to convert settings. Now that we're done with the preview section, let's have a look at the control panel. The control panel is divided to five different sections. The section part, which control the header, where you can add links and customize the logo. The left area, which contains the order confirmation and the customer information. These two sections are not deletable, but you can play with their location, will be explained in a second. And the right area, which contains the order summary. Again, this is a built-in part by Shopify and we're not able to edit or remove it. Aside from that, we got the general settings tab that's going to allow us to control multiple factors on the thank you page that don't have a specific location. For example, order tracking, a pop-up, product comments that are built into the order summary, and magic designer that's going to automatically work in the background and make sure to sync changes in your theme to your thank you page so it's going to have a more cohesive look. You can also edit the template name by double clicking it at the top left of the page. Let's call this one, for example, page builder demo. Now let's go over some of the functionalities in the sections area. Let's say that I want to add product recommendations to the left side of the page builder. I'm just going to have to choose which side I want to edit in. Head over to the left section, click add section, and then I just have to choose one of these widgets. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just explain briefly on each one. A birthday collector widget will allow you to collect customer birthdays and later on send them promotions to their birthday. A call to action button is basically a text and a button with a redirect URL where you can send your customer to. Collection list will allow you to display a list of collections from your store and redirect your customers to favorite collections. Custom HTML will allow you to insert HTML to your thank you page according to your needs. The discount widget will allow you to give your customers a discount code for the next purchase right from the thank you page. You can also add free text or an image with text. A link list that will allow you to display multiple links for your customer to navigate to. Post-purchase survey will allow you to ask your customer multiple questions and gather information about them. Product recommendations that will display multiple products on your thank you page for your customers to choose from. You can also apply a discount for them. A product upsell, which is a single product that's going to be displayed for your customers according to your choosing. You can also add a timer, a discount, so on and so forth. A reorder button that's going to duplicate the previous order even if it has multiple items in it. You can also add a discount to it. Social follow buttons will allow you to embed widgets from different social medias and allows your customers to subscribe or like or follow you on different platforms right from the thank you page. 
social media links to your social media profiles. You can also add custom links and custom icons. Social sharing buttons will allow your customers to share their order on social media and offer their friends a discount for their first order. Currently, we support Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Google+. And finally, you can embed a video. For the sake of the example, and as we mentioned before, let's just add a product recommendations widget to the thank you page. Once you've selected and added a widget, all the settings are going to be on the left side. If you need help, you can see multiple tooltips all around the widget and there is a help video dedicated to each specific widget with a video, GIFs, images, text and everything you need. If you still can find help, there is always the live chat support widget on the bottom right side of the screen. Now, once you're done configuring the widget, you can hide it, unhide it, and drag it around the page using the six dot sign. As you can see, it's now between the order confirmation message and the customer information message. Now, just a word about the general settings area. These items, order tracking, pop up with timer, and product comments are not draggable. It's either they have a preset location on the page or they're just showing up in different places. So you can either enable or disable these widgets, but you can drag them around. Moving back to sections, let's talk about the header. In the header, again, there is a help video, but you can control the logo or add multiple links. To let your customer navigate back to your store. It's important to mention that all the widgets that are available on the left side of the page will also appear on the right side of the page and it's also important to mention that widgets will show up on the top of the right section will appear on the top of mobile view. So make sure that you put on the right side of the page the widget that you want your mobile customers to view first. All right, guys, you now know how to use the reconvert page builder. But just in case you still have issues, questions or need any other type of help on the bottom right corner of the screen, there's always going to be the live chat. So you can always reach out to us. We're available 24 seven. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know whenever we go live or release new videos about e-commerce or new features for the app so you can stay up to date. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.